Thank you. Good luck. Thanks. Hello. Um, I hope you're having a great day. So, you find me today on top of the pyramids in um, Girouin National Park, which is about three hours from Brisbane, where I live. And I'm here today on day seven of a uh, little seven day, seven sunrises challenge that Louie and I set for ourselves. And this is the final day the final sunrise we filmed this morning and uh, it's absolutely freezing up here but since the sun's come out it's been so much more bearable um, but this video is going to be a little bit different obviously because I want to just do it in one take unedited um, and just talk about I think probably the reason I decided personally to undertake this challenge with Louis um, and it's just been kind of the theme throughout the week. Um, I have my phone here for some notes so I stay on track because um, I had the tendency to ramble but yeah I just want to kind of really just chat and talk um, about what I've been feeling um, and that is about stepping outside of my comfort zone. I, um, in preparation for this little chat, I just had a little think, and, um, I think I have known that I am a creature of habit, and I really love routines, and, um, I don't, I don't really like surprises, I don't like, I really like being planned and prepared for everything, and, um, I think about all the possible scenarios, and, um, yeah, I just try and be, I'm basically always over-prepared. And so I think after my experience with depression and like everything kind of um, being out of my control for so long in that year, um, I just crave some sort of stability and... Um, just things within my control and so I worked really hard to establish consistent routines and practices and habits that could keep me grounded keep me safe um, and that I could always rely on and I think that has been quite detrimental to me because obviously I was too out of control before but now I think I've become too control too controlled too complacent um, and just too comfortable I like I have like the life that I live is it's very cushy it's very comfortable um, and I've designed it to be that way because I don't like being uncomfortable um, you know, I, I know the food that I love. I eat the same kind of breakfasts every day because I love them and they nourish me and I know they're good for me. And, um, you know, I like to go to the cafes that I know are healthy. I like to sleep in my bed. I go to the bed at the same time. I wake up around the same time. I have a solid morning routine because I know it makes me feel great. And, you know, if I don't get that done, then I don't feel as good in the morning. And, Yeah, I just, like, and I know I've kind of said this a couple of times, but, like, there are big opportunities for change coming in my future. Um, obviously, with everything happening in the world, it's a little bit um, more up in the air at the moment, but they're still coming, and this change is up to me to make, and it's something that I'm really struggling with because I've created such a comfortable life for myself. So when this opportunity came up to come out here and do seven days of seven sunrises, I immediately thought it would be really cool and I was very excited straight away. But then 
when it actually dawns on you that it's coming or that you're doing it, like I got, I got a bit freaked out. Um, I have only prior to this, I've only camped, um, on like school camp. Um, and we were in tents and stuff, but like, it's not the same. It's not real camping. I know that. Um, and hiking, I, I just don't love walking. I just, it's not my preferred choice of exercise. So I'd much prefer to do something else. Um, and I just never had a real interest in hiking whenever I never did it that much as a kid. Um, and so on the opposite end of the spectrum, Louis adores hiking. Um, he kind of always want, has wanted me to go out and, you know, hike more and stuff. Um, and he loves camping. He grew up with it. It was such a huge part of his childhood. Um, so he was a lot more experienced and a lot more comfortable with that side of things, the camping and the hiking. Um, but I less so. So I think that, that was, it was good and bad that I was coming into this um, so inexperienced because on one hand, I didn't know much of the negatives um, that come with camping or come with hiking or would come with this um, challenge. But I also, like, I also had to really learn to trust the process, which was huge for me because I went into this, obviously, being my normal self, um, trying to be as prepared as possible, researching the mountains, trying to know the terrain, to know what to bring, to know, like, uh, what I need to practice. Like, I'd never done any rock scrambling before, so that really freaked me out, and so I wanted to come into everything as prepared as I could and over-prepared, naturally. Um, but even still, there were so many things that just happened that we couldn't be prepared for, like the weather. Um, it just, like, there were heaps of spanners thrown in the works, and we just had to adapt, and adapting 99% of the time meant getting me the heck out of my comfort zone and it's terrifying to do so but it's also extremely liberating I have had so much fun this week um, and I'll share it I'll share like um, the documentary that we're making and um, I filmed a lot of behind the scenes stuff and that they'll come in the next few weeks. I'm just going to have to sit down and edit those. That'll take a bit. Um, but the reason I wanted to make this video specifically was because this experience has opened my eyes in so many ways. But it's made me realise how uncomfortably comfortable my normal life is and how that needs to change. Yes, I want to incorporate more hiking and camping into my normal life and just like getting out and seeing more of the world that's really not far from me at all. Um, but I can only grow if I get out of my comfort zone. Yeah, it's scary and likely to be very challenging at times, but it's only an opportunity for growth. And even like thinking about that, thinking about the possibility of change and getting out of my comfort zone is like, is, is really scary. But I think you should move towards the things that scare you more because they're what's going to challenge you, what's going to push you out of your comfort zone and what's going to shape you more. Staying in 
staying in the same comfortable place isn't going to do anything for me and hasn't been doing anything for me. Um, and right now it's just, yeah, becoming too uncomfortable to kind of remain there. <sighs> what else do I want to say? The quote that I kind of came into this whole um, journey with was, strength doesn't come from the things you do. It comes from overcoming the things you thought you couldn't. And that's really true. There are so many times during this week where I just didn't think I could keep going. I didn't think that I could do it. I was terrified, but I did it. And now I just, I don't, I don't know if I'm a stronger person necessarily, but I'm just really proud of myself for doing it and for getting out of my comfort zone. I hope this video is getting across what I want to say. Um, it's so nice and sunny out here. I don't know if I have much more to say on this. I know it's this, there's changes that I'm trying to kind of grapple with um, in so many aspects of my life aren't going to resolve themselves overnight and I'm not gonna have, you know, a, I don't think I'm gonna have a time where I just snap my fingers and the decision is made and I am totally all in um, and don't have any doubts. But I need to be more open to thinking about it, talking about it, and just like visualizing it and seeing what it would be like if it would if it would make me happy. I think I know it would. <laughs> um, I just have to become more comfortable with the uncomfortable because I know that it's ultimately going to better me. <sighs> anyway, I think we're going to get a couple more shots up here. Head down, have some breakfast, pack up the tent and make the three hour drive home to Brisbane. And then unpack. I'll go home and I'll probably start looking through footage and um, transcoding and editing and um, maybe do a bit more thinking about what I have learned from this and what I want to come away from it with and getting comfortable with the uncomfortable because if there's one thing that this experience has taught me is that uncomfortable things reap hella rewards. So I can get on board with more of that, definitely. <sighs> but yeah, I hope you have gained something from this video. I hope that it made sense and that it was coherent and that it had a <sighs> path that it was following. Um, thank you so much for watching and sticking around with me in this video and uh, look forward to the documentary and the behind the scenes video that will be coming in the next few weeks as well as what I think are a couple of other really exciting videos to come. Um, if you would like to follow me on Instagram I have been posting daily updates um, of this little trip and some little like sneaky behind the scenes stuff. Um, so far but then as we kind of like go back into Brisbane and really look at the photos and start editing and developing them I think I'm going to be posting some pretty cool photos um, on Instagram so if you want to check that out feel free to follow me at lauren underscore underscore hog and I upload new videos every Thursday and I really cannot wait to see the next one I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and remember try and be comfortable with the uncomfortable it will only help you grow.
and just go through the rest of your day with a smile. That is all. <laughs> Bye.